love cooking, and my jam recipes have been winning awards at the county fair for several years now. Today, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite jam recipes, peach habanero. The sweet flavor of the peach blends beautifully with the kick from the habanero pepper. You can serve this with cheese, as a glaze over a pork tenderloin, or even as a dipping sauce. This recipe is foolproof once you understand the technique. Before I begin, I place my jars and lids in a huge pot of water set on a low boil. I've already rinsed and washed them, but this gives an extra boost to sterilization. I'll add the lids a few minutes before I pour the jam into my jars. This helps get the rubber side a bit sticky to make the perfect seal. I start with a stainless steel non-reactive pan. I add four cups of chopped and peeled peaches. You can use frozen or you can use fresh, or you can do a mixture of both. Now I add a fourth cup of lemon juice. Now I add a fourth cup of finely chopped habanero peppers. I use the seeds and everything. Don't skimp out on the peppers because the sweet will balance the heat. Now add one package of pectin. I'm now going to add a pat of butter. When the mixture boils, this will reduce the amount of foaming. Now that it's at a consistent rolling boil, I'm going to add seven and a half cups of sugar. I know this sounds like a lot, but remember, it's going to be distributed among many jars, and it's needed for the process of turning our fruit into jam. Now, I'm going to turn off the stove, and I'm going to take the jam off of the heat and let it cool for 10 minutes. I'm now going to ladle the mixture into each jar, put a lid on it, and seal it. I'm now going to place my jars into a hot water bath, making sure that they're covered with one to two inches of water. I'm gonna keep these on a low boil for 20 minutes and then I'll let them cool. And the jam is done. One final step. The lid of the jar is the only part that is not reusable when you're done with your jam. That's where I like to put my labels. This is a recipe that's definitely worth trying. Hey. Hey.